啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。People get up early to come to Waterloo, Illinois. You can definitely say they get up with the chickens. They also get up with ducks, guineas, you guys have a good one. Good bunnies, take care. Yep. Goats, mask at 150 with paint. Sheep, hello. Doggies, <laughs> kitties. And have you seen the little piggies? Smart, they slept in. Lots of animals, but more than anything, it's chickens. Chickens, 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 chickens. But don't get me wrong, it's not just chickens. They're called ducks. I'm sorry? They're called ducks. And you're not saying they're called ducks, you're saying they're, they're called called ducks? They're called called ducks. They always talk, always. Have you ever been to a really big flea market or yard sale and thought, this is a zoo? Well, this is a zoo. <laughs> nice goat. <laughs> this is the bird and animal swap meet. When the weather's warm, thousands of people come to roost at the Monroe County Fairgrounds on the fourth Sunday of the month, except in July. How much for one, sir? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Them are, them are $10 each. Ten. Yep, they're up with the chickens. And it all goes fast. What, what time did you start this morning? 5.30. And stuff goes fast, doesn't it? Real fast. Yeah, we'll be out here by 8 o'clock. No kidding. Why does it go so fast? Why is everybody here so early? They're after good, good birds. You said you wanted a light and a dark? Is that what you yes, said? See? <laughs> People have been getting up early here once a month for 20 years to buy and sell critters. Now you have a wagon load of, of birds. What are you going to do with them? <laughs> Take them home and raise them. Put the ducks on the pond and raise the rabbits and fun place. Have a good time. <laughs> Thank you. On these early Sunday mornings, the Monroe County Fairgrounds becomes a real aviary. Have you ever seen a white peacock? Me neither. Who knew? There are big birds. There are little birds. But still, chickens are the big item. Chickens. And it just gets bigger as time passes. More people are into the green thing, have chickens in their yards and stuff, I believe. You seeing city people or you seeing rural people? Both. Both. And just in time for Thanksgiving. We have hatching eggs. Are these turkey eggs? Royal palm. Royal palm? The... Now people are going to buy these to hatch their own turkeys, not, not for breakfast. No. 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 They're a real good layer, a real good bird. There might be. A little on the flatty side, not much. This is the animal fair. The birds and the beasts are there. Right here, I've got three of them in here that's going to be big. This is going to be partridge color. This is a real farmer's market with farmers from just about everywhere. Nowadays, a lot of the cities around here will let you have poultry in the right. cities now. No roosters, but just hens. And this gives them a chance to go out and buy them, the colors, and the breeds that they're looking for. It doesn't get any more real deal than this. And while it isn't the kind of farmer's market most of us city folk are used to, where we look for fresh produce peddlers, it's a bird and animal swap, remember? It doesn't get any fresher than here. Sorry, kids, this is life in the real world. Sometimes chickens meet their Waterloo in Waterloo. So if you're looking for something to feed, or something to feed yourself, this is the once a month place. How many did I get put in there? Two, three. So while the emphasis is on chickens and birds and poultry of all kinds, critters for the barnyard or for the table, other animals do get taken home. Well, we got seven kids, that way they've always got a friend. <laughs> and there's no doubt what happens to them. All right. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. Thanks. Enjoy. For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. <laughs>